Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Killinger and today we have something way different than our normal content. So today we're going to take a look at two Bibles that I just recently purchased from a uh, fairly new publisher from what I understand called Humble Lamb. But before we get into these beautiful Bibles, let me explain a little bit why it is that I bought these and why you guys are seeing this video. One of my favorite TikTokers, or that's at least where I first found them, is Moon's Rare Books. I believe that's what it is, Moon's Rare Books. And a while ago, maybe a little over a year ago, he did a video on an original 1611 King James first printing Bible. Now, I had never seen this Bible before. I really wasn't aware of it. I, yes, I knew what the King James Bible was, but at the time I wasn't educated in the Bible other than I knew of the Bible. I've read parts of the Bible, but I really didn't know much more than that. So I went down a rabbit hole because I was fascinated by this 1611 King James Bible. And it kind of goes hand in hand with my fascination with book binding and old books and things of that sort. So I down this rabbit hole I go. Next thing I know, I'm collecting vintage Bibles. It's not a crazy collection. I have gotten a couple of very nice vintage Bibles from the uh, late 1800s. And then recently I started collecting Bibles from early 1900s. The World Press Bibles, everybody's familiar with. Your mom and dad probably had one, or you probably had one as a child, if you're a Gen Xer. <laughs> so... All of that has led up to this moment today where I am interested in rebinding some Bibles. Now, you guys know my channel. I have a lot of interests and a lot of hobbies, and there's a lot of things I dabble in. And leather work is a big part of it. I think that's a good way to take my passion for leather work and combine it with my passion of vintage Bibles and make uh, something pretty cool out of it. So... The problem with rebinding vintage Bibles is I have no idea what a premium Bible looks like. <laughs> I don't own one. So that's where we are today. I picked up these two premium Bibles from Humble Lamb. And I'm really excited about these things. Uh, they fit my personality. <laughs> and you'll see why here in a moment. But again, this is outside my normal content. So I'm not real sure. How this is even going to go. I'm also not a Bible reviewer, so you'll have to forgive me on that. I'm just going to share my experience with you guys, and that's it. And I'm going to bring you guys in. I'm, I'm going to try to set up an overhead view of this so you guys can get the full effect of what's going on here. So stand by. All right, guys, let's start with the Shepherd here. So the Shepherd is a New King James Version in orange. And it's got some pretty neat stuff going on here, but so we'll start with the box. First off, the, the, the box is just incredible. Um, this is definitely something that I need to step my game up on is the presentation of products. And this just is beautiful. It's a super thick box, two piece clamshell, I guess. I don't know, to call it a clamshell? No, two piece box. It's got some nice artwork on it represents their company a little logo on the back humblelamb.com so you open this up inside is the bible and this little card with a note from the publishers and then it does have some writing on the edge here the word of god is the greatest treasure given to man and that's pretty much it for the box. So let's get the box out of the way here. So they put this paper on here to protect it, obviously. <laughs> oh, I love, I love bright colored leather. Obviously, if you guys have been around long enough, you've seen plenty of green leather on my channel. And not just any green, like a toxic green. 
and it's my favorite color, but I love other bright colors as well. And this orange is just gorgeous. It's almost like a, like a mustard almost. Like, it is orange, but the lighting out here is weird too. So one thing that's just mind blowing is the art gilting on the edges here. Here you have just beautiful artwork that is vis visible from, you know, bending the book. Well, you can see it too when it's straight on, but really pops. And then the gold gilting, the spine, the word of God, New King James Version, Meritan goat skin, and then their logo, Humble Lamb. It is got a sewn edge. I can't remember what they call this. Like, that's where I'm saying I'm not very... I don't know all the terminology yet, and I'm just now getting into premium Bibles. So, like I said, I needed one, at least one. I bought more than one. But I needed one to know what a, a premium Bible should look like. So, this is what they call, I believe it's a um, paste-down lining. In other words, this liner inside is uh, synthetic material, obviously the... The outside is goat skin, inside synthetic, and it's just paste down to the leather. This is a uh, less expensive way to uh, rebind a Bible or bind a Bible. Uh, it's still very high quality and looks amazing. It's neatly done. Everything's nice and square. The corners here on the leather where it's folded over and sewn all look really nice. Just beautiful work. I mean, this is just an absolute gorgeous Bible. It's pretty flexible. feels good in the hand. You know, a lot of this is about texture and feel. And to me, that feels amazing. It's a little stiff. And I believe that's because of the synthetic lining. But nothing crazy. It does have black up here on the edge band. And then three orange satin ribbons. Let's see if I can pull those out for you guys. Yeah, satin ribbons look like double-sided, like they're finished on both sides. And they're pretty wide, three-eighths of an inch, I think. But you get three ribbons. And they're very generous in length all the way to the corner just looks amazing so inside the bible we'll go over that real quick so you have your liner page then there's a blank page it's pretty thick and then your presentation page i like how they do this presentation page it's just blank just some lines on it a lot of bibles say to from presented on i don't necessarily like that i like this better it's just blank if i just want to write my name in there and maybe the year that i purchased it and started reading it that that's the kind of important uh stuff to me so the word of god new king james version and then you got all your copyright and bible information over here this is how like a lot of the vintage Bibles, this is kind of what I look at when, when I'm looking at the pictures on eBay. Kind of gives you an idea when the Bible was printed, where it was printed. Uh, these are printed and handcrafted in China, uh, but very high quality. And I don't know what the specifications on, on the paper are. You, I think it might say on their website. I can't remember, but it feels, it feels pretty nice. Um, not a lot of bleed through. That's one of the things with Bibles. The paper's thin, obviously, to get all this in one book. If you guys have ever seen an original 1611 King James Bible, it's huge. It's like 30 pounds. Um, this is pretty cool. I thought this is neat, uh, th what this company does. It, it says, thank you for making a dis difference. For every Bible purchased, Humble Lamb will provide Bibles, food, and humanitarian, humanitarian assistance to those in need. So they, they give back for every Bible you purchase. Um, Price-wise on these Bibles, I can't remember. This one was 
uh, like $120, I think. $130, somewhere around there. The other one was like $220. Premium Bible Land, it's not crazy. Uh, I know some of you are probably thinking, what in the world? But, you know, some of the Rebind Bibles go for much more than that. So, uh, it is what it is. But it's nice that they, they give back. And I, I really appreciate that. Preference to the New King James Version. And then this will tell you a little bit about the text and um, a little bit about the translation. And then we get into the Old Testament. Did I skip the... I must have skipped the... Uh, yeah. The content. So this will... Obviously, it tells you what's where all the books are, Old Testament, New Testament, what pages. Then we get into the Old Testament. So single column format, I believe that's what they call it. Uh, everything, all the, the text is in the middle of the page with your cross-references cross over to the side here. And then any notes are on the bottom. Just very nicely laid out. Um, the the font on it is is really good. I can see it just fine. The number the verse numbers are a little small for me. I'd, I'd prefer them to be a little bigger, but that's that's they're still very readable. Nothing wrong with that at all. That's more of a preference thing. There the chapter numbers are in blue which stand out pretty well. But here's one of the coolest things about these Bibles that you don't see in most modern Bibles now. You see them in vintage Bibles, like the, the, the up to like 1960s, 1970s, you see um, pictures in the Bible. And some of the vintage Bibles I have, the pictures are colored. These are all black and white. But it these, these Bibles, all their translations have several illustrations in them just throughout and they're just awesome illustrations just absolutely love them in the new testament we have the words of christ in blue lettering which is very very nice uh, the blue is just, just pops right off the page you're not going to be able to pick that up in the camera i don't believe and then in the back, I don't think, I think there's a concordance. Yeah, so the end of Re Revelations there, and then the concordance. And then I believe from there, and that's a that's a very generous concordance. There's a lot in there. I believe from there you get to your colored maps. These are very nice, uh, what, like a, not waxy, what am I thinking, coated paper. Very feel very nice, very heavy duty, and there's a lot of them. There's a ton of maps in here, and then we got some blank pages here. No, just one, just one blank page. And then your back thicker page, and then your liner. So that is the sh uh, shepherd. New King James Version. This one is the History Bible, which stands for History. New American Standard Bible, and it is in lunar yellow, four edge gilt with black ribbons. I believe, if I if I understand this correctly, this Bible is set up to read like a more like a book, uh, more like less about. Uh, the verses and the chapters and more like each book of the Bible is an actual book. So I, I don't even know if that makes sense, but it's kind of what I understand of how they, they laid this Bible out. And I, I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the NASB translation is the revi or the newest version, the 2020 version. So that's all I really understand about this Bible. So again, the box, beautiful artwork. 
just simple and elegant and the color of the box is absolutely amazing simple humble lamb on the back very heavy duty box again you're going to get the uh, a note from the publisher card and then again it says the word of god is the greatest treasure given to man and it says it on both sides and then obviously the bible and the size of this bible is just awesome so we're going to pull it out of the paper covers here. So on this one, on the spine, it's very simple. It has raised hubs and it says the word of God right there. The size of this Bible is, is very, very nice. So this is the shepherd, obviously, we just looked at. And here is the history Bible in comparison. And as you can see it's much smaller than the shepherd's, but it's just a, it's a good hand-sized Bible. You know, I have a tape measure. I guess I could give you a measurement. So this Bible is approximately seven and three quarters by five and a quarter. Very nice. This one has amazing artwork here. Just look at that, how cool that is. Gold, gold gilting. Love the way that looks. This leather is just crazy nice. Uh, this one is an edge line. So the, the cover is goat skin. The liner is goat skin. And the liner kind of is sewn into the cover. And then if you see right here, that is, they call that the edge line. That is part of this liner going onto your end page there. So that's kind of how it's, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of how it's connected. It's a very strong binding. And the leather just feels amazing. It's nice and floppy. Just a, it feels amazing. I can't I can't say that enough. It just feels amazing. It makes you want to read this Bible, which is what their goal was with their their Bible publishing when they set off to start this off, is just to get people to want to read their Bible and 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 pick it up and enjoy the experience. And I, I could say they nailed that. Uh, this one does have a gold line. On the edges here, I can't remember what they call that, but some of you Bible nerds are laughing at me right now, and I I, ca I call you Bible nerds lovingly because I'm turning into a Bible nerd myself. I'm an axe nerd, but uh, Bibles are new to me. So in the back it says uh, first print edition, individually handcrafted Meriton goatskin. Very cool. So we'll get into it a little bit here. We do have. Three black ribbons. Which look amazing with that yellow. So we have a blank page, a presentation presentation page his story new american standard bible 2020 yep i was correct on that then your copyright information and then again thank you for making a difference page then we get into the contents old testament new testament So one thing they do in this Bible, it's pretty cool, is all these uh, drop caps. I think that's what they call them, drop caps, and they're very ornate. Very uh, artistic. Then we get in our first book of Genesis. And again, they have these illustrations throughout this Bible. And I believe this one has more than all the other versions. This one's like 200 and some odd of these illustrations or pictures. 
The font is a decent size. It's very readable for me. Have all your uh, cross references off to the side and then notes on the bottom. The creation of man and woman. The titles are the titles of the chapters are in blue. These drop caps are very, very cool. There's a lot of artwork going on in all those drop caps. All your your psalm. It's a nice layout for those. Again, words of Christ in blue. So it looks like we end with Revelations here. We have a few blank pages. Then we get into our maps. Again, so that's not like a glossy paper. A lot of them. Then a, another blank glossy paper, then a thicker blank page, and then your back liner cover. A ton of information in the front of most Bibles too. It's, it's good to read. Just, uh, Introducing the Word of God, forward, preference to the NASB, principle of translation, explanation in uh, general format, abbreviations, and special markings. This, it's all good stuff to read before you actually get into the Bible and kind of help you, guide you through the Bible and maybe why they did certain things or what certain things in the Bible mean uh, as far as like, like italics or letters or next to a, a word. So good information to read in any new Bible that you're not familiar with. But uh, this is just an absolute treasure. I love the size of this Bible. Um, if it, it, has, it definitely lays flat. It's very flexible. None of the words are getting lost here in the center. It's everything is very readable, very well laid out. And the Bible itself just feels amazing. This is going to be an amazing Bible to have to just take with you if you want to take take your Bible with you camping or maybe you're going on vacation. Just a good size to carry. Love it. Love the layout. Love the the artwork. I mean, it's just it's just a fancy Bible. Just beautiful. I don't know what else to say. Both of these Bibles are amazing. I can't wait till the green one gets here. The green is a King James Version. Uh, and it is one of their uh, edge-lined or sewn, sewn line Bibles. It's one of their premium, the, the most premium they have. I, this is still premium. <laughs> it's a glued line. None of that matters to me. These are both gorgeous Bibles. Beautiful. Beautifully done. I'm glad I chose these to give me an idea of what a premium Bible should look like. And I can build from here, aspire to be as nice as that. Obviously, I won't be doing anything with the text blocks. You know, it'll be whatever, whatever it is. But I, I definitely can make the cover as beautiful as possible. And this helps me get an idea of what... A premium Bible should look like so love them all right guys well there you have it two beautiful Bibles from humble lamb uh, looking forward to diving into these things and learning as much as I possibly can about the Bible as well as it just enjoying the experience Of reading the Bible. 
So hopefully here soon I'll be dabbling in some Bible rebinds. I've purchased a few vintage Bibles off of eBay to practice on. I have a very special one that I uh, purchased that I'm looking forward to do my own rebind on, but I'm going to save that until I get a little bit of practice, make sure I know and understand everything I'm doing. And I'll be sure to film that stuff, obviously. Love sharing my uh, leather craft with you folks. And uh, we'll see how where this takes us. I don't know. I'm not going to become a full-time Bible rebinder, I can tell you that. I'm not really interested in turning this into a job. But I may uh, sell some along the way. I don't know. It's going to uh, just depend on time and, and a lot of other things. So, But... If you guys are looking for a premium Bible in some very cool colors, they have a lot of other options on their website. You'll have to go there and check them out. This is not affiliated in any way. They don't know who I am. Um, I did pay full price. Well, obvious, other than I got a discount code off of the Googles. But I did pay pr full price for these Bibles. Uh, they don't know that I'm making this video, and I don't expect anything from this company in return. This is just me sharing my hobby with you folks and my passion. And I like to tell you guys about high quality things anytime I see it. Anything I use in my life that makes it better, I like to share. So with that being said, folks, if you like this video and you want more content like this, I don't know. Like I said, I have another one of their Bibles coming. If there's enough interest in this video, I will do an unboxing of that video or Bible as well. It is in green. I can't wait to see it. You guys know green's my color. And I can't think of anything cooler than having a green Bible. So I'm looking forward to that. should be here later this month. But guys, take care. We'll see you in the next video.